and welcome back to the channel. On this video, I want to talk about the cost of an electric bike, but more specifically, the cost of the battery for the bike. Because that is the biggest cost you're going to have when purchasing an electric bike. The battery is going to be the biggest expense on that bike. And sometimes that price can be near 50% of the bike. Typically more like 25 to 40% but it can get up there to 50. It depends on several factors, including quality of battery, uh, brand name of the battery, size of the battery, all of that, voltage. Uh, so you can expect pretty much about, just about 25% of your bike that you own, if you own an electric bike, at least 25% of that bike value is the battery. So when you have to go to purchase a new battery, when that battery's time is up, that's going to be your biggest expense. But uh, I'm going to talk a little bit about more of the lower cost bikes that are in the $1,000 to $2,500 range and a bit of a breakdown of approximately uh, how much you're going to pay just for a few of the components. Um, so a typical lower cost e-bike is going to cost you between $1,000 and about $2,500. And we're talking U.S. Uh, money. So the breakdown would, would go something like this. The uh, cost of the battery is approximately about 23%, or just about 25%, like I was talking about. The motor you're going to spend, it's going to be about 15%. The controller and display, you can figure 8% of the value of the bike. And the, the other big expense in there is shipping. Yeah, they'll tell you it's free shipping, but of course they factor that into the price. So you're not actually getting the bike for free shipping. They're going to factor that in. Uh, so, and that is approximately 19%. So, that's kind of a breakdown of the more expensive parts, the most expensive parts that you're going to spend on a bike. It's going to be the controller and display, the motor, the battery, and the shipping. Those are the big ones. And it'll be it'll be a little bit different depending on the bike you buy and the quality of parts they put on that bike, of course, but this is just about an average for the lower cost bike. And if you wanna see a full list breakdown of the cost of an e-bike, lower, uh, lower uh, costing e-bikes or the higher costing e-bikes, Lyric Cycles has a great piece on their website and I will leave a link specifically for that to go check out I highly recommend you go check that out it's a pretty good they've got a graph up of a uh, breakdown of a lower cost e-bike and a higher cost e-bike and what you can expect to pay this is approximations of course it's not um, exact because everything every bike is going to be a little bit different but this is a pretty good indication pretty good idea of what you uh, would likely uh, where your money goes within the bike and uh, how it's divvied up. It's a great article and I uh, highly recommend you read that, check it out. Like I say, I will leave that in the description. But yeah, the battery is the big one. And they're making uh, 
some pretty good sized batteries now like some of the bikes now are coming out and we're talking instead of dual battery now they're making one big battery and I'm seeing lots of bikes now I shouldn't say lots but some bikes that are um, getting up there at uh, 60 amp hour now so I can tell you something about those is that they're going to make your bike a lot heavier that's one thing but you are going to get distance out of it so um, even if you just throttle and don't pedal you're still going to get pretty good mileage I would think out of a 60 amp hour battery this guy here didn't even care if I was there So check that out. I will leave that link in the description. It's an interesting read. Another really nice riding day here in Oregon. Three o'clock in the afternoon. There's a little bit of a breeze up. It's uh, temperatures in the high 70s. I mean, it's absolutely perfect for riding. We're quickly uh, approaching fall here as we uh, um, are about to hit Labor Day. And so uh, the weather will be changing before long here. We'll be seeing the fall colors, although I'm already, as somebody uh, pointed out to me, they're seeing in the videos that I've been shooting here, they're seeing uh, changes in the color. And I said, yep, I've even seen some leaves falling already on some trees a little bit. And that's going to do it for another video here on the channel. If you like this video, hit that like button. If you'd like to subscribe to the channel, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and thank you very much for doing that. And if you want to be notified as to when the next video comes up on the channel, just hit that notification bell and you'll be notified. And if you want to leave a comment on this or any other video, go ahead and leave that in the comments below. Once again, thank you for joining me for this video. And until next time.